dinner was great. Mm -hmm. The food was good, and the atmosphere was romantic, and the company was wonderful. Mm. Are you still going to take me to dinners like this even after we're married? Oh, well, gee, honey, I always thought making dinner for the husband was one of the wife's biggest thrills in life. <laughs> you know, I come in, I plop down in my favorite chair and say something like, honey, I'm home. What's for dinner? <laughs> Frozen fish sticks. I like eating out. I do. I think we'll be doing a lot of it. <laughs> feel like doing? Well, if that kiss was any indication, I think we could rule out bingo. Uh, I feel like driving to that cliff overlooking the city. Mm -hmm. You know, that one we used to go to in high school mm -hmm. and um, necking. We're talking premarital hickey here, right? That's what you're <laughs> suggesting. You got it, big guy. It's a deal. <laughs> We got uh, we got milk. Yeah. We got oh. eggs. We got cereal. We we don't have cereal. I don't. We don't have cereal. Murray wants some kind of uh, what was it called? Uh, nut chew 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 nut. chewy Stop. choo choo yeah, nut. That's it. Cereal. That's it. Okay. And we got to get him some fruit too. The last time we didn't get him fruit, he threw a fit. I'm uh, gonna get some cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? Yeah. On cereal? Wait a minute. No, I was thinking well. I Strawberries, don't you? Well, think? we can get some strawberries too. I'm just in the mood for cantaloupe. Well, I thought you told me once that melon food like that made you break out. I never said that. Sure you did. Don't you remember the Fourth of July picnic? You had some uh, watermelon and your tongue swell up. You couldn't talk. <laughs> that was watermelon. This is cantaloupe. Yeah, but they're similar. Are you sure it's going to be all right? I think it's going to be fine. What are you, an allergy specialist or something? I'm going to get some cantaloupe, okay? I don't want to talk about all right, this all, all day. Right, just all right. do the You shopping. get cantaloupe, you break out. I don't care. I'm going to go to the strawberries. Hi. Look, I, you gotta excuse me. I know this is gonna sound kind of weird, okay? But I don't know how to pick a rat cantaloupe. And I was just watching you shake that cantaloupe. But I was wondering, what are you supposed to hear when, when you shake that? Is there a little voice in there that says, pick me or something? Or how do you know when it's right? <laughs> well, if you hear the seeds squishing around a lot, it uh -huh. usually means the melons are pretty ripe. Uh-huh. So if I was to shake that cantaloupe, I would hear the seeds shaking uh -huh. around in there, right? Uh-huh. Can I shake your cantaloupe? Be my guest. See here. Listen, listen to that. Son of a gun, you are absolutely right. Yeah, boy, you can really hear those things, can't you? Mm -hmm. So this this is ready for lunch then, right? Right. That's something else. You know what's amazing to me is how nature has its own little testing system. That's fine. It borders on the miraculous. It does, doesn't it? Here. Why don't you give this one a feel? Is that 
amazing how many different brands there are for every product. It never fails to amaze me. I mean, I never know what to buy. Of course, men are always just terrible at shopping. I mean, they're inept. They just wander around. They never know what to take. Women are always so much better at that. Why is it that, that, uh, that women are always so much better at that than men? Must be a flaw in their genes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it must be. What other possible explanation could there be for that? Oh, there you are. What do you say uh, we take off? I think we got just about everything, huh? Yeah, did you find your cantaloupe? Uh, no, I couldn't find the one I like. You two are friends. Figures. Mm -hmm. What does she mean by that? I don't know. Listen, did you get me the chewy choo choo nuts that you promised you were going to? Oh, thank you. You did get them for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've had to clean out the refrigerator more often. There's nothing but mold in here. Oh, listen, no, don't, don't, don't touch those Petri dishes. I'm growing Pseudomonas aeruginosa in there. Why can't you grow bean sprouts like everybody else? Listen, did you get me the fruit for the chewy choo choo nuts? Because chewy choo choo. Be like right oh, thank you very much. You did get it. That's very nice. Uh, Nick promised to get us some cantaloupe, but I guess he forgot. Huh? I thought cantaloupe made his tongue funny. No, no, no. not if pretty women also eat cantaloupe, right? Look, I saw you trying to make time with it too. All right. Hey, hey, no, no, no. I wasn't trying to make time with her. I was oh, just yeah, picking right. out my groceries. That's all. You didn't see me picking up any fruit that makes my tongue break out, did you? Excuse, excuse me, guys. Nail polish remover. Uh. Makeup, eye makeup, uh, what is this? Uh, eyelash curler, uh, uh, Marie, feminine Marie, hygiene. Marie, Marie, what are we Marie, doing? Marie, an no. experiment Marie, or something? Uh, I what? picked this stuff up because uh, I had, I promised uh, Mrs. O'Reilly that I would. You remember Mrs. O'Reilly? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, you were getting this for Mrs. O'Reilly? That's right, very nice because right, she needs right. our help. Right. You know. She's a very sweet old. Hey, wait a minute. Cat right. food. Mrs. O'Reilly doesn't have a cat. We don't have a cat either. No, but I bet somebody at the uh, grocery store does. Murray, cat food? Murray, what? Murray. Yes. Let's just stick it back in the bag over here and we'll discuss it. Okay. Hello, is anybody there? Hello? Oh, uh, here's your uh, nylons and shower cap. <laughs> Hi there. Can we help you? Uh, yeah, my name is Robert Edwards. I'm looking for the Riptide Detective Agency. Well, you're looking at him. Oh. Oh, well, good. Uh, are you guys familiar with this story? The one about the serial killer? No, except for what we've read or heard in the news. Why? I think my roommate's the killer. I guess it all started at about two months ago. Uh, Sandy started acting very weird, quiet, you know? Not that she was a chatterbox or anything like that, but, but we always had pleasant conversations. And uh, in fact, well, we even got drunk together one time and kind of, well, <laughs> you know what happens sometimes when the wine takes over. Oh, boy, do I. I mean, you get the slightest bit of alcohol in me, and I've got a headache for two days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, anyway, um, after that, one sort of awkward moment, I thought that Sandy was afraid that I was going to make a move on her or something, and that's why she kept her distance from me. Then I found the gun. She had left it in her purse on top of the telephone book, and when I grabbed the telephone book, the gun fell out. Well, now, according to the police, the killer uses a 9 millimeter. Well, was it a 9 millimeter? Yes. Well, Rob, a lot of people own 9 millimeters. That doesn't make them killers. Yeah, yeah, I know, but do a lot of people have a letter from one of the victims? Do a lot of people have matchbooks from where another one of the victims worked? Do a lot of people disappear for days at a time and at all weird hours of the night without any explanation? But you said that your, your roommate has a letter from one of the murder victims? I found it the same day I read about the murder in the paper. What does it say? I don't remember now. It really shook me up, though. I, something about a, a wedding. Look, I've still got the letter at home, if it'll do any good for you guys to read it. Rob, look, have you, uh, have you tried talking to Sandy about this at all? No, 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 that, that'd be impossible. I, I mean, at one time I thought about trying to talk to her about it, but she's gone for days at a time. I, I haven't seen her in a week or so. In fact, the only way that I know she's been there is when I see that her bed is unmade. You know, uh, 
your evidence is, uh, is pretty circumstantial. And uh, well, it sounds like to me that you should be telling this to the police, not us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. And you're probably right, but don't you see? I could be wrong. In fact, I, I want to be wrong. Because I like Sandy. I like her a lot. And I, I don't want to get her in trouble with the police until I'm absolutely sure that there's something solid to go on. Will you look into this for me? Please. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Boy, can you imagine finding out that your roommate is a mass murderer? I mean, wouldn't that be awful? Yeah, that would be awful. I'll try to remember that the next time you get on my case for not shutting the wheelhouse door. <laughs> do you think the police are gonna tell us anything we haven't already heard in the news? Well, you can never tell, right? You know, we might find out they got a leading suspect, and Rob can take it easy. Listen, uh, who do we talk to down at the department? Thought about that? You're right, you know? I hadn't thought about it. It's gonna be strange not dealing with Quinlan. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah, as bad a time as he gave all of us, I... I can't believe how much I miss him. Yeah, me too, Murray. Who's going to be slamming the doors in our faces now? Huh? The Riptide Detective Agency, I presume. Lieutenant Parisi. Mm -hmm. These gentlemen have a seat. How about that? A lady detective. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Murray, that's nice. Sergeant Baker mentioned you needed my help. It's not the cantaloupe again, is it? Those seeds not squishing around enough? Cantaloupe? Or uh, maybe you've decided to more thoroughly investigate the male grocery shopping mystique. <laughs> Whatever it is, I want you to know I'll do my best to help you. Whatever the risks. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Am I missing something here? I mean, cantaloupe and, and grocery shopping. Did, did the killer rob a grocery store or something? I mean, is Murray, it... you're not missing anything, OK? Look, Lieutenant, we just came here because we'd like to get some more information on the killings. What kind of information? A lot of it exists, but most of it is confidential at this point. Well, we understand that. Uh, we were just wondering if there's any more you could tell us that hasn't shown up in the newspapers. You say it's for a client, so... Does this client know something about the serial killings? Oh, please understand, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to breach a client confidentiality, but uh, if it is a professional matter, I might be able to provide you with something. Is something wrong? No, 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 no it's nothing's not wrong. wrong. No, it's just that uh, we're not we're not used to getting cooperation around here. But yes, Lieutenant, it is a professional matter, and actually, our client could be of some use if we could help him out now. Excuse me, Lieutenant Parisi. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm sorry about the alarm this morning. I was, I was trying not to wake you up. <laughs> yeah. You wish. You win some, you lose some. Gotta go, honey. I got some people in my office. See you at eight. Okay, gentlemen. I'll have someone compile some information for you that might help you without hurting our investigation. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. much. That'd be a great very nice. Thank you. Excuse no problem. Me. Thank you. See you in the checkout line. What does she mean by checkout line? Never mind, Mary. Forget it. I, you know, I think she's nice. I think she has a nice quality about her. She's going to help us, and she's going to get that information for us, and she's being cooperative, and I think that that's nice. Sandy? 
sand yet. Sandy! She was home again and I lost her, damn it. I lost her. I just don't understand it. I mean, all I wanted to do was talk to her, and the minute she heard my voice, she ran out the back way and she took off in the car. I can't believe I lost her in traffic like that. I just don't right, believe look, it. Look, look, calm down. We're going to take it one step at a time, all right? Yeah, let's one start step. with that letter you found from one of the victims. She's not very neat, I'm afraid. <laughs> in fact, that's how I found the letter in the first place. I was looking for a book that Sandy had borrowed from me some time ago. Uh, what I mean is I wouldn't ordinarily be in a room when she wasn't at home, but I, well, I needed the book, and I didn't think she'd mind. Just uh, consider you doing it for a worthy cause. Right? I'm going to check out the bathroom. Is that the letter? Yeah. It fell on the floor by accident. When I picked it up, the name just kind of jumped off the page at me. Dear Sandy, I hope you would change your mind and attend my wedding. It would mean so much to have you there. Did I see Tara. That? Yeah. The day I found that, the police found another murder victim, Tara Carlson. The name stuck in my mind because I never knew a woman named Tara before. Murray, is there a last name in that letter? No. You know, if Lieutenant. Parisi could get me a sample of the murder victim's handwriting. I might be able to do a handwriting analysis on this letter. That's a good idea. Yeah. You know, Rob, the odds of there being any connection between Sandy's friend Tara and the murder victim are extremely rare. Yeah, I, I know, I know. That's why I didn't think much of it until I found these. Teppers. I, I, I never heard of Teppers until I read in the paper that it was a bar in Santa Monica where they found one of the murder victims, a Vicky somebody. Don't you guys see the connection? I mean, one minute they find a body in the bar, and the next thing I know, I find matches from that place in my house, in my kitchen. <sighs> OK, OK, maybe there isn't anything to it, but you got to admit, it's pretty spooky. OK, I think we're done here, but what one of us should do is stay here and stake the place out in case Sandy comes back. Where don't you take Oh, yeah, great. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stakeout, that sounds so FBI. I mean, what if she comes back and she sees you? Oh, nobody's going to see me. You see, I do great stakeout. You see, I have this really boss equipment like these uh, infrared lights. Murray, it's all right. Really Murray, you great. don't have to explain it. Don't worry about it, Rob. Nobody's going to suspect Murray of staking out anything, believe me. While he's doing that, Nick and I'll check out where Sandy used to work, OK? OK, but listen, do me a favor, all right? If you find out anything, please come and tell me. I work at Sheldon's. It's a shoe store in the mall. We will. We'll be happy to. No Don't worry about anything, It'll OK, work. Rob? It'll work. We'll take care of it. Uh, we're looking for a young lady. Yeah, her name is Sandy McCabe. She used to work here. Look, I am pretty busy right now. One or the other girls didn't show up tonight, and I have to cover her tables. That's definitely. It's real important that we find her, all right? I liked Sandy when she started here. I thought maybe she and I might be friends. But 
she keeps to herself, you know? Like she doesn't need friends or something. Well, anyway, this guy I know wanted to go out with her, so I figured I'd give it another try. I fixed them up, and she just shined him on. I mean, she stood him up, and she never even said she was sorry. It's like when she quit this place, she just stopped coming to work. No reason, not even a goodbye. So you haven't seen her or heard from her? Not since she left, about what, six weeks ago. Uh-oh, I gotta get back to my tables. Thanks for the tip. Okay, thank you. Bye. Well, so much for lasting relationships with Sandy's co-workers, huh? Well, this girl's developing a real unfavorable profile, wouldn't you say? Lieutenant Parisi, what's she doing in a singles bar? Well, she's uh, single, right? No, no, no. She's engaged, right? Engaged? There's a difference. Well, take me to court on a technicality. She looks good, doesn't she? Yeah, she looks all right. She looks all right for a cop, right? <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm saying that the woman is a professional, man, okay? She's a police officer for crying out loud. She's a very attractive police officer. I know that. Look, the last thing I want to do is be interested in a woman that I got to work with. Now, you start doing that, man, and you got problems all the way down the line. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. But, you know, life would be a lot easier if we were in good with her. Oh, yeah, sure. I know that. All right, I got to tell you, before I knew who she was, I did entertain the thought of maybe getting to know her better, now, didn't you? Yeah. All right, see? Once I found out who she was, I mean, that thought did not enter my mind. Yeah, me either. Me either. Hands off. That's right. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, something's going down. Come on. Lieutenant, what do you got? Deja vu. Young female, white, multiple gunshot wounds. Looks like a nine millimeter. Doesn't this killer ever sleep? I don't want anyone touching a thing until forensics does its job. And let's comb the alley for that murder weapon. You can't even get to have a quiet dinner with your future in-laws these days. You two got here awfully fast. Our client's roommate used to be a waitress here. Better look at the victim. She's wearing one of their uniforms. It can't be. It can't be Kathy. She can't be dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Look, uh, is Kathy the waitress that didn't show up for work today? Yeah, she was fighting this cold, you know. I thought that was why she didn't make it in tonight. She only started working here a week ago. She was so nice. I mean, everything was going so good for her. She just got engaged okay. and everything. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. Why don't we go inside and have some coffee, huh? Okay? Thanks. Man. Yeah. Man, I'm not looking forward to telling Rob this. Looks like he was right about Sandy. Yeah, I know. But just because there's another victim doesn't mean Sandy's a killer, you know? What are you talking about? The girl's on the run, she owns a 45, and her replacement winds up in a dumpster. How many more clues do we need? Mr. Anderson, I've shown you almost every style we have in the store. I... Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Did you find out something? Uh, kind of. Did anybody have any answers about Sandy? It's getting worse, Rob. Nobody's seen Sandy, but another girl was murdered last night. The one who replaced Sandy as a waitress. Oh. I gotta get my customer another pair of shoes. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, we'll wait for you outside. Thank you. 
I'm telling you, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Yeah. It's okay. I'm still bleeding. Why did he attack me like that, Lieutenant? I've never even seen him before. He thought you were following his girlfriend. What? Lieutenant, Rob was following his roommate, Sandy McCabe. So you saw Sandy in the mall while we were with him. I know. You have to understand something. The longer this killer remains at large, citizens are going to become more on edge. The man who hit you, Vic Burrows, is a truck driver. He's been on the road most of the time. He's been extremely worried about his girlfriend. And, well, it looked to him like you were following her. You can press assault charges against Mr. Burrows if you wish. It's up to you. No, I don't want to press any charges. Rob, what are you talking you about? Up. He beat you up for crying out loud. I can't blame him. I probably would have done the same thing. Lieutenant Parisi. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have seen them. They're right here in front of me. It's your friend Murray. Yeah, Murray. What is it? How fresh is it? Yeah? OK, Murray, you're doing great. Hang in there. Oh, listen, one more thing. We found another body tonight. Yeah? All right. We'll see you later. Thanks. Well, what is it? Did Sandy come home again? No, Sandy didn't show up, but uh, Murray found some blood in your garage. Gentlemen, I think it's time we started sharing our information in this matter. Well, you see, Lieutenant, up to now, there wasn't much to share. You see, uh, if it's okay with you, could we wait uh, maybe until Murray gets a complete analysis of the bloody film? I want a full report first thing tomorrow morning. No problem, no problem. Uh, what time? Uh, 9 o'clock, is that good? Uh, that's not good. All right. It's, uh, 9.30, how's that? Well, to be honest, I, I have to pick up some wedding china and a silver pattern that trimbles. All right. How does 10 o'clock sound? 10 o'clock sounds great. great. We'll see, see you at 10 o'clock. Okay. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. Thanks, Lieutenant. Let's go. Hey, guys, guys. Yeah, Mar, what's going on? Guys, you're not, you're not going to believe what I just found out. What is it, Look, I just came from the lab, and yeah. we have a positive tissue typing on the blood sample that I found at Sandy and Rob's house. Great. And this is the best part. It matches the blood of the young woman who was found murdered last night, right here. 
Sandy must have killed her at the house and dumped her body away. Yeah, I better call Lieutenant Breezy right now, huh? Oh, that. Visit. Oh, you're going to call Lieutenant Breezy? Yeah, you want to call her? No, I don't want to call her. No, I don't care. Guys. Right, no, if you want to call her, Nick, go ahead. Okay. You can call her. It's all right. Guys, what? I already called her. What? I've already called the lieutenant. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I called her from the blood lab, but I, I had yeah. to leave a message because she's not going to be in until 10 o'clock. Oh, right. Yes. Oh. What? Oh, wow, boss. Oh, this is boss. Look, look at this. Look at this. Not only do we have the blood samples to link Sandy to one of the murders, but we, we just might have a motive, too. That's great. All right, what are you looking at? Where? All right, well, 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 hear me out now. Even though the police task force was obviously doing everything it felt right. it could to find the killer, well, right. I felt that a fresh and an objective viewpoint might be useful. So so yesterday I entered everything that we had into the police file, as well as uh, as well as well newspaper stories on the murders, and, and my computer has been running various comparisons looking for anything that the victims might have had in common. And, uh, yeah, there we got it. They were engaged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even the waitress last night said the girl was getting married. Yeah, that's right. And don't forget the letter from Tara Carlson Rob found in Sandy's room. What was it? It was, uh, let me see. It was about a wedding, right? That's right. Roy, this is good stuff. Thank you, Nick. But actually, this only ties in uh, half of the victims. I, I don't have a connection for the others yet. No, don't worry about it, Murray. Sandy maybe just got the addresses wrong. I wonder what Sandy's got against Bride. Who knows? Maybe somebody left her at the altar. Yeah, maybe we should search that house again, knowing what we know now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you very much, Sergeant. Bye-bye. What did he say, right? Well, it's very puzzling, actually. Apparently, the, uh, the handwriting of the murder victim does not match the letter that Rob found upstairs. Could the police have made a mistake? Uh, it's highly unlikely, Cody. I, I mean, they even brought in a second and third opinion, and the experts were unanimous. Yeah. You two having a good time? I'm searching this place by myself. What's going on? We got a problem, Nick. The letter's a washout. The police handwriting guy shot it down. And now we can only uh, pin Sandy to one of the murders. Come on upstairs. I want to show you something. Come on. All right. I want you to look around and tell me what you see. Oh, come on, Nick. Don't play games. We've looked around a dozen times. No, no, no. I'm not playing games. What time is it? 10.30? 30. All right, Murray, either your watch is off an hour or this clock is off exactly one hour. So? It's an electric clock. Now, it's off exactly one hour, right? Daylight savings time ended six weeks ago. Oh, so you're saying that Sandy forgot to roll back her clock an hour? Yeah. So where does that leave us? Cody, she hasn't been here in six weeks. Murray, check that calendar out. Oh, yeah, Cody, I, I meant to tell you that, uh, that I found this very odd. You know, she hasn't changed this calendar in two months, look, since October. That's yeah. right. Also, I checked the bathroom again. Why would a woman leave behind toothbrush, birth control pills, stuff like that? Yeah, but I still don't get it. I mean, what are you thinking? Where does that leave us? Look at this. I noticed this when we walked in. What? Well, that's a note that Rob left for Sandy. You right? You recognize yeah. it? Yeah. Well, here, here's my copy of the note that Rob supposedly found from Tara Carlson. The handwriting is the same. Rob wrote the letter? Mm -hmm. Robert Edwards. Lady killer. Rob Edwards there, please. Do you know where he went or uh, when he'll be back? Uh-huh. OK. Uh, no, uh, no message. Thanks. He's not at work. They don't have any idea where he went? No. <sighs> hey, Nick, Murray. Down Come on down here. I want to show you something. What's up? What's going on? Did you uh, find something? Or what? Yeah, I did. 
Look, we got to figure that Sandy hasn't been around here for a while, right? Yeah, right. Well, I think we're wrong. Well, what do you mean? Take a good look at that wall. Several of those blocks have been replaced. Sandy never left the house. Look at that. Oh, no. Come on. Help me move this out of here. Murray, shine that light up a little bit more, will you? to prove that Sandy was the killer. And he was the killer all along. I don't understand. God knows what's going through that guy's mind. <laughs> you guys, do you remember that time when Rob said that he and Sandy got drunk together and things got out of hand? Yeah. Well, maybe if, if things didn't go the way he wanted them to, maybe that's what started all this, you know? I mean, who knows? Maybe he had some kind of fixation on Sandy and he... He wanted to marry her, and then when she turned him down or, or whatever, he killed her. He's been killing her ever since. Over and over again. All brides. Yeah, but how do you find out who's getting married and where they live? I mean, what, do you look in the paper or something? All right, it's easy. You ever uh, bought a wedding gift for someone? Yeah. Well, all you got to do is go to the bridal registry in a department store, and they practically got the whole the whole life story of the woman right there, I mean, including her dress. Well, come on, let's get to the shoe store and stop this guy before he hears more wedding bells. Forget it. I called already. He's not there. Oh, no. What? 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 You remember yesterday you said that, uh, that Lieutenant Parisi was going to be late uh, for work today because she yeah. had to register for her silver yeah. at 9 o'clock? Yeah, Rob heard the whole thing. we got to move. Yeah. I told you I wouldn't get away with it, Sandy. I told you I'd have to stop you, but you wouldn't believe me. I'm not Sandy. Don't lie to me, little tramp, or I'll kill you right here. Okay. Now we're gonna go for a little ride. Oh, 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 no cheating. There's a gun in here. I'm the only one who needs a gun. Now, you are gonna drive. Close the door. No, we haven't heard from her all morning. But then she mentioned yesterday that she'd be late getting in. Yeah, but not this late. Look, we think she could be in a lot of danger, all right? We called the place where she was supposed to be, but she left 30 minutes ago. Can you get her on the radio or something? Sure, right over here. OK. Now, I want to go to the lookout of Paradise Cove. That's where you're going to take us, Sandy. Rob, uh, why don't we go back to our place instead? It's uh, so much nicer there, and then we can be alone. Hello, 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 hello. No. No, I want to go to the lookout. What is that? It's my radio. I'm, I'm late to work. So get rid of them! This is one Baker 9. I'm running a little late. Things took a little longer than I thought. Sorry about that. I'll be in after lunch. Is it off? Did you turn it off? Yeah, it's off. See, I'll even pull the mic off the cradle. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Rob. No one will know where we are. The radio's off. Just you and me now. We'll be alone together at Paradise Cove. 
Let's get the menu. Yeah. All right, listen. I want you to go to this address and look in the basement. Why? What's there? The first victim of the serial killer. You guys see anything? No, nah, there are a lot of cars down there, but I can't tell which one is Joanna's. You know, obviously she was trying to tell us that she was heading for the lookout of Paradise Cove. Why don't we just go there? Okay, that's a good idea, Murray. Look, if we can't find them on the road, we should be able to find them at the lookout. Yeah, if they make it that far. Okay. This is good. Now, get out of the car. Rob, wouldn't you rather... get out of the car, Sandy. Just quit arguing with me, all right? Turn around and face me. <laughs> Finally. Finally, I'm going to finish you forever. No more lies, no more betrayals, no more sandy. I've been involved in the shooting at the lookout at Paradise Cove. The 187 suspect is down. Please dispatch the coroner's wagon. Out. How about a blender? Blenders always make wonderful wedding gifts. Oh, thanks. So. Especially could I could open it up I and so. I can make it move six times it. faster. Right. I don't think so. I think it's too personal. You know? Yeah, it's supposed to be a business gift. Right. Oh, Strictly see. business. Uh -huh. right? yeah. yeah. Well, how about a picture for their new home? That would be nice. That's always a nice gift. It sort of it bridges the gap between the personal and the business, and it's something that they could both enjoy. Really, we don't even know her fiance, okay? And besides, who cares if he's gonna like what we get him? Besides, Joanne is our friend, right? Right, our see. professional friend. I know that, professional friend. No, no, I know that. Yeah. yeah, well, I understand that. It's just that I see no reason to ignore her fiancé. I mean, after all, they're going to be partners for life, you know, forever entwined in connubial bliss. All right, come on, will you? It's the 80s. I'll give it about six months. Six months, really? Oh, look, look. Hey, speak of the devil. Hi, right, Lieutenant. Are you doing a little shopping? Uh, uh yeah. So what do you think? 